chocolate chip pancakes which is awesome we got fruit loops and then we've got uh, sausage home fries and scrambled eggs so. and we are off that's right we're out of here vlog 106 day 38 we're rocking and rolling hammering through getting it done i hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog uh today we've got 90 miles so it should be a decent vlog today we shall see Time will tell. If you guys get a chance, please, positivevibesport.com. Make a donation. This is for the kids. That's what I'm riding for. Kids at Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital help save a life. And I will be forever grateful. And I appreciate it. I'm creating content for you guys to check out. It's readily available. Sometimes funny. Sometimes serious. But mostly just for your entertainment value. Actually, my, that didn't make sense. Mostly for your entertainment. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Let's get it done today. Gonna be riding for about 22 hours to get that done. Just kidding. Turn right onto Thompson. Okay, I'm turning. So the cool part about the Silver Comet Trail is they have cameras, look. So they have cameras, so they actually patrol this. And uh, you're not allowed to ride after dark. Uh, I mentioned that yesterday. So super cool little fact. I mean, I don't think I'd want to be riding outside right now um it's a little bit chilly so hopefully i run into my buddy that's uh heading overseas but maybe we'll ride together i don't know He's So it sounds like I have something rubbing and I don't know what the heck it is. It's driving me crazy. Every time I go back and forth, it's uh, it's rubbing and I can hear it on the tire. I don't know. Those aren't swaying enough to rub on anything. I wonder if it's that screw. That's not close enough. That wouldn't rub. Maybe it's the arms. Gosh, I don't know. I know I'm gonna tuck that up there though. That's weird. This is absolutely breathtaking right now to be in front of this. Like this is crazy cool. Look at that. It's freaking gigantic. That's what she said. Just kidding.
So I had a conversation the other day about wearing headphones while riding. Is it dangerous? Uh, also, why do I wear headphones when I'm riding? And uh, and when you know, is there is there a right? I guess what came about in that is is there a right way or right time to wear headphones and uh, and the safety of it? And I really thought about it. And uh, to, to be completely honest and answer the questions that somebody had asked me the other day, um, you know, if you're going through a, and this is how I do it, this is just a personal preference, I wear headphones, uh, which I don't have on right now because I lost mine, but it's, it's not good to wear them, say, if you're on uh, busy roads, if you're on uh, in a neighborhood where there's, uh, there could be dogs, there could be animals, um, uh, you know, and, and, you know, if you're riding on the sidewalk, you can't, you know, hear people or, or anything like that, even though you use your eyes a lot more, but I would say wearing headphones, like on day, like today on a trail, totally. Okay. Um, I don't have them. I got to get some today because it's 90 miles, but, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I love nature, but. I also like hearing music and it, and it motivates me to go pedal. So uh, I would say if you're riding in, in the city and you're riding in other places like that, uh, maybe don't wear headphones as much. And if you do wear headphones, I do sometimes and I wear my one earpiece. So I have, you know, I've got a regular set, but I only put one ear in. So I have the other ear open so I can hear certain things and uh, pull it, pull the headphone out if I need to. So. Uh, when I'm on trails like this, there's no cars around, there's no people around, there's nothing happening. It's just me in the in the road. I wear my I wear my uh, headphones when I have them. So hopefully that answers your question. Ooh, uh, out there, but that's what I got. But there are some people that are way against it, and they're like, "You shouldn't do that. That's a terrible thing." And da 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 da. Well, you know what? Continue to be scared for the rest of your life about wearing headphones. You ride bicycles. We we are we put ourselves in harm's way. Uh, some of us more than others. Um, almost every day we ride a bike. We're smaller than cars. People can walk in front of us. You know we can fall off. Two wheelers can fall off the bike by hitting a stick. You know a rock. So <laughs> um, safety safety first is always helmet. Uh, but headphones on a trail like this, totally cool. Favorite sign. Uh, no, no public restrooms. Exceptions don't ask. Love it. Right, so I got a new pair of headphones. We also got a uh, stop and got a muscle mug down about 20 miles. Uh, I got a honey bun, five hour Snickers for later. So those two will be later. And then I got myself a scratch ticket because, well, I figured it'd be uh, if I win this, we can put it towards the charity. It'd be awesome. But we did scratch it, and uh, there was a two hundred fifty thousand dollars winner right there. But it's not a winner because it didn't match my numbers. So. I just lost a mirror. It slid right off. Well, I, I'm just gonna leave it because I wasn't using it anyway, so I'm not gonna go back and get it. It's gone. So there's part of this trail where uh, people go down the bottom of the hill and it's a turn, so you can be careful. And I assume this is probably close to where it is. We get the down. Is there a turn down the bottom? Quick, is there a quick turn down the bottom where bikers kind of go off the path sometimes? Yeah, I think so. Okay. No, you're fine. Is it further? It's, it's 
Too bad. All right, thank you. asking me what these are they sometimes see them in the video and uh, these are um, I believe to be fire ants um, so basically if you, if you knock it over you got them all over also got them my thing but oh, 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 oh. are all over you can see them crawling everywhere the larva in there those are all ants they like fire ants. So back home, those are uh, those are ants, regardless. And they build mounds, and they literally build everywhere. You can knock them down. You can fire them up. I mean, anything. And there's a guy. I don't know if he's down here or where he is, but he actually they pour. I've seen them pour uh, stuff into the holes. It's pretty cool. Uh, and it's like an, uh, I don't. It's aluminum or, or what it is, but it's pretty neat anyway. And they'll actually get. The, uh, the crevices, you know, all the, oh, there's the water. They'll get every little nook and cranny of that uh, underground, because that goes way underground, so it's kind of cool. You want to talk about a nice trail. Like, this is so nice. They have, and it's, and I'm sure in the summertime there's way more people on this, but, or even later in the day, but look at this. It goes along the side of the railroad tracks, and then they've got restrooms on the side, and then they even get a little trail they made on the out, so you can just bathroom and then scoot back on the trail and go. And then parking, if you want to park on the trailhead and go, and park benches. I mean, this is like grade A uh stuff i would i would literally fly down here just so i could ride my bike on this path in the summertime i might do that this uh, summer take a weekend and just come down and ride this that would be super cool get a group to do that uh, so for those of you that have a riding temperature out there you know who you are uh i am down here right now it's 60 degrees well 65 degrees feels warmer and uh i'm in riding shorts right now and maybe a long sleeve and a t-shirt, excuse me. So yeah, uh, there is no riding temperature down here because it's always nice. So this is it right here, look. So it comes and it turns almost 90 degrees right and it whoops right back down to the left. So if you're on a cycle, if you're on a two wheel, you might be okay if you know that's there, but if there's leaves and you slip out from under, you're going in the woods. Oh, more power, man, so fast, yeah, power. This thing was is so well thought and put out here. Every state needs to adopt something like this that goes all the way through. I understand it's gonna take some money, it's gonna take some time, tax, la la la. But if you can get a trail like this, more bikers going through towns, more money generated for businesses, more job opportunities for people to hire because you're generating more business from bikers going through. Because a lot of people aren't really touring, but they're going through, they wanna have a nice uh, meal for the day or they wanna stop at a store and get snacks. Dude, this is such a great opportunity. It's a good thing that I don't have a two-wheeler on this trip because that looks like fun to me. Lucky I don't do it on this one. Ooh, look at that comes right off the road. Oh lord, I, that would be fun. <laughs> uh, 
uh, grab some food, take a break. I'm almost at 40 miles, so take a quick break. I'm going to call uh, Gary right now. And uh, boom. So this is what I like about this. So this is called last minute um, groceries. So this is what caught my eye. I don't like the two wheel. We need to get a three wheel on that, but we're going to go get something to eat and uh, eat the bath. Actually, I'm vlogging it now, but this is the GoPro I have. It's the uh, Five Hero, yeah. So we just we just actually talked to uh, Gary um, Solomon, and uh, Gary is also the man behind uh, the Laid Back Bike Report. So we actually messaged them, and we're going to be uh, on his show on Sunday, which is going to be really cool. And uh, basically, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show. I'm sure a lot of you are, but uh, yeah, check that out on Sunday. I'm not sure when he posts it, but it should be pretty cool anyway. We'll check it. It's a minute. Y'all yeah. come down, check it out, get some food. If you stop by, what's the name of the town? Cedar Town. Cedar Town. If you get to Cedar Town, you come down here and uh, and get some food. My man here, he cooks. He cooks some really good food. They got a, actually a pretty good menu here too. So you get wings, fries, and uh, nothing healthy here, which is okay because uh, cyclists we got to fill up. So come down here, uh, Cedar Town, and literally the trail is right outside their door. And like I just showed you guys, the reason I stopped was because they have a bicycle on their sign. So come down, check them out, and uh, get yourself some food. So uh, I had a suggestion come through that uh, my I need to make my audio better. So I just turned it uh, onto automatic to help with the wind and the tapping on the uh, my hand and stuff. So you guys let me know, is this any better? This is the first clip I'm shooting with uh, the new control turned on and a uh, new feature. And hopefully it works a lot better because I'm in the wind, I'm riding right now. So we'll see what happens but it's amazing that you can just flip a button if it does work and it works so we'll see what happens it might uh, reduce my voice i might have to yell a little bit louder hope they don't lose my voice but uh yeah we got about 50 miles left to do today so i'm trying to get on my get on my a game pump out it's gonna be dark by the time we get there and raining so i'm hoping that we have a smooth ride the whole way and uh, on this trail, this trail is so nice. I can't say enough awesome things about it. All right, so we're switched back now to stereo uh, on the audio setting. And I made a couple of um, adjustments because I listened to it on here and it sounded, it didn't sound too good. So we may have to deal with that for now uh, for the trip. So uh, if it's something that uh, you guys want fixed or, or different, just let me know. And uh, I'll do my best while I'm here to uh, to make it a little bit more enjoyable for you. Uh, if it doesn't bother you at all, let me know too. But I'm always up for suggestions. Um, so thank you to my man Gary for suggesting that. I will. Uh, uh, when I get home, though, I'm definitely getting. Uh, Ed Miller has a setup for his GoPro that has almost like a, a tiny shotgun mic that with a little uh, camera holder and a tripod for for the GoPro, and it's a cool connector. And it will keep all the the sound that you guys are hearing from the tapping on the bottom of the handle to the wind. It'll keep that off, but I'll probably do that mostly when I get home, just because I'll have a place to ship stuff. It'll be a lot easier um, to get it. I don't have to wait, you know, while I'm on the road. But also on a side note, uh, it's gonna pour on me. So luckily this GoPro is waterproof. It's gonna be thunderstorms. We're gonna ride through it, but it's gonna be heavy rain at times, and I'm hoping. It's gonna be another hour or two before it starts, but I won't be at my destination until about five o'clock. Larry, what up, man? What's up, Larry? Yo, you feeling good today? Bobby, Bobby, what are you doing, dude? Bobby, what are you doing? What are you doing? You stuck in there, buddy? How's the grass? Look at the cabs. What are you doing? Careful now, that must hurt. That can't feel very good. Oh, we're looking out for the calf who's gonna attack. We made it! We made it. Alabama! Georgia. I'm standing here. And Georgia, Alabama!
that way into Georgia and uh, uh, Coca-Cola Rails and Trails Conservancy uh, and the Coca-Cola Company. Gateway Park funded through a grant. We need more grants. We need more parks like this. This is so cool. This is so awesome. I could, if it started raining, I could stay right underneath there, but I wouldn't do that. I'm just going to keep riding because I got to test out the canopy. We made it! Yeah! There's only 2,000 more miles to go. I'm trying to avoid the same running. Come here. It's okay. Come here, buddy. He looks very, very hungry. Come here. It's okay. You want it? It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's all right. Come here. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. Come on. It's okay. It's all right. See, you're okay. It's okay. Shh. It's all right. It's okay. See? That's all right. Eat that. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. You lost. Good boy. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Hopefully he doesn't want any more. Hello, buddy. This is not the not the way you want to obviously meet a dog, and you don't want him to. You don't want to. I don't want to frighten him, and I want him to come after me. So if I stay hi, if I stay calm. How are you doing? See? I don't have any more. What are you doing? It's okay. You just stay calm with them. Right, like I said, I have my knife. I got my spray. Come here, what are you doing? No, he's just kind of walking off. Heading out. So, I'll keep this available as I ride by him just because I don't want to. Alright, buddy, you want to go? Alright. Alright. I don't want him to snag me. He's obviously been, oh, you're going to get out of here? All right, bye, buddy. Bye, little buddy. And being out here, I just hope he doesn't turn into the Incredible Hulk and just come running up beside me and snag my arm. Uh, but at least I give him a little something. I know a lot of people are going to be like, that was sugar. But you get a dog like that, he looked like he was lost. He looked hungry. Um, so hopefully he's, he's going to be okay. Thank goodness uh, I don't have to climb that. The trail goes, cuts right through. I know there's gonna be some hills though because when I see a mountainside like that, I just know that we're gonna have a hill. All right, so it's really starting to uh, come down now and uh, I didn't put my phone in a water bag, uh, the dry bag yet. It's gonna rain a lot harder than it is now, but what I did do is I put it up inside that mesh that Ed fixed with the popsicle sticks. We're gonna see how it holds and uh, go from there and see if the the uh, rain comes through the top of this. But right now it's doing good. We're gonna, we should be all right. Also, I'm not stopping unless it's really bad and I see a twister or something or bad lightning. Thunder's all right. I'm gonna keep on pedaling. I'm doing about 15 miles an hour average right now, even though the app is not saying that on my phone. <laughs> um, so I want to get there before it gets dark because last thing I want is to get colder when the sun does go down or it gets darker. So I'm going to pedal right through. If it's heavy rain, it'll give us canopy a real good test as well. All right, so it's raining out decent right now. It's not heavy. I'm too, too cold. Um, I'm definitely going to have to dry my clothes tonight. But as you can tell, I'm pretty soaked. Um, the canopy is nice because what it's doing is keeping the rain out of my eyes directly. So I like that aspect of it with the rain right now. I'm doing about 15 miles uh, per hour. I uh, have been for the past about a mile and a half. And uh, no issues with uh, visibility. So I do like that because when I was going through when I started and also uh, the other times it rained, I had to wear my sunglasses to protect my eyes from all that. But uh, I'm afraid we're gonna get a little bit heavier here in a minute.
legs are legs are numb. We got a nice flat spot right now. And we got about cruising at about 18, 19 miles per hour. Try to keep the watts down, go fast, like Ricky Bobby, son. And Jackson, uh, oh, Jackson, this is uh, Jacksonville State. I see where we are. Jacksonville State uh, University right now. Is yours an e-bike? No. Oh. I am not an e-bike. <laughs> hey, I'm with you. <laughs> the only reason you got that is because it couldn't keep up with me. So we reached the end. End of Chief Ladey. Ladega, Ladega, Ladega. Okay, pro property beyond this point. Okay, so we got to the end. This is the end of uh thing. Now I gotta get back on the road. Damn it. Turn right. Stopped and got a uh, got some food real quick. We got the bike out there, but I'm uh I'm about eight miles or so from uh from the end. So I'm gonna get cranking, but I need something to eat real quick. I'm so hungry right now, Popeye's gonna mess it up! I realized how nice the sun felt until it hit me in the face right here. It feels so warm now. Guys, we made it to Motel 6. Yeah, this has been a nice trip today. Hope you guys had a great day. If you get a chance, please subscribe to the channel. Also, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Please make a donation, positivevibestore.com for the kids at Chad at the Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital. We did 90 miles today. If you want to see yesterday's vlog, please click here. If you want to see a deer getting tackled by myself and Ed, click right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, click right down here. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you later. As always, stay happy, stay humble, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you, bye!